This is Twit. Over the last couple of weeks, you guys have been talking you know, on the various shows a lot about, you know, how many tops, you know, all, you know, the Snapdragon X and, uh, you know, the Apple M fours and all these things are, are producing. And so I just thought I'd, you know, throw the automotive uh, version of that into the mix here. So because, tops, we should know, explain, is, for, is the metric people use for AI engines, and it stands for trillion operations per second. I don't know how good or bad it is, but it's what everybody uses. Uh, Apple's uh, M4 iPad is 38 tops. The new Copilot Plus PCs run the Snapdragon Elite X, which goes to 48 tops. So that's the ballpark. What what? How many tops for that thing? Um, so that board that's over my shoulder there is an NVIDIA Drive Orin uh, development board. Um, that has two Orin chips on there. Um, the Orin is the current production generation of NVIDIA's top um, board, uh, chip for doing uh, ADAS systems, uh, driver assist systems. Each one of those does 250 tops. Oh! So it's so a 500, 500 tops? 500. <gasps> yeah. Wow. That's a little bit faster. Just just a wee bit faster. Why, <laughs> why, why does a car need so many tops? Um, well, if you're going to do automated driving, um, there's a lot of processing that goes uh -huh. on. I mean, you know, because you're... You're potentially, uh, for example, if you're talking about uh, a robo taxi type of vehicle, you've typically got um, somewhere between 12 and 20 cameras around the vehicle. Uh, in most cases, on those types of vehicles, you're looking at, you know, usually eight megapixel cameras. Uh, so you've got a lot of pixels to process. Plus, you might have anywhere from three to five LiDAR sensors, uh, maybe. 10 or so, 10 to 12 radar sensors, all of which have to be processed in real time. Uh, and, you know, so you can't just sit around and wait for all of this stuff to happen uh, like you can, you know, if you're, if you're putting a prompt into your browser window, you know, if it takes, you know, five, 10 seconds, a minute, two minutes, not the end of the world, doesn't really matter. This stuff has to happen, you know, in the span. You have to process every one of those sensor signals in the, somewhere between 50 and 100 milliseconds. So it takes a lot of computing power to do that in a vehicle. Um, and you know, said so mo you know, this is a this is a dual Orin board. There's a, uh, a Chinese company called um, sorry Xiaopeng. Or is it Neil? Neo, uh, Neo uh, on some of their newer vehicles, they have a, uh, they're using an NVIDIA uh, system that has four Orins in there. So a thousand tops uh, to, to do their, their driver assist systems in there. Uh, the, there's I had one no idea. What, compare that, say, to a Tesla with FSD. Uh, do we know how much processing is in a? Tesla? Yeah, about 140 tops. Okay. So this is a lot bigger. Wow. Yes. Much, much more power, much more computing power on this than the current Tesla FSD computer. And you should uh, definitely but, not take your M4 iPad out for a while. <laughs> no, definitely not. But keep in mind, you know, that the Tesla system uh, only has eight cameras and they're only, uh, depending on what position they are on the vehicle, they're either 1.2 1, 1 uh, or 2.7 megapixels. Oh, that's ridiculous. So this, oh, that's so this is handling eight <laughs> megapixel camera images. Yeah. And, and LiDAR um, probably as well, right? And, and uh, yeah, and can handle LiDAR and radar and all of the other stuff that also has to happen in real time. And you're also um, doing redundant calculations in here, um, typically you know, using at least two different algorithms that are doing the same thing and cross-checking each other for safety. There is, there is one, there's, there are a couple of slight downsides to this, uh, besides it being rather pricey. Um, <laughs> it, it's yeah. Uh, are there any it, cars with this in it now? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, like a Lucid there, there, or something, right? There, there's, there's actually quite a few uh, in China uh, that Neo. have this. Lucid is not, Lucid is not using the Orin right now. Okay. Uh, they're using it, I think, or maybe they are. No, they're not. They're not using the Orin at the moment. Um, but that but, would explain uh, why some cars are r really pricey. I mean, no inexpensive cars yeah. would have this device in it, I would think. Uh, not not this one, but there are versions of this that are lower power or depending on the type of system you're doing. So there, there are versions that can support lower power consumption uh, and lower cost. Um, just this past week, um, Rivian revealed uh, their 
updated version of the R1T and R1S, uh, their electric pickup and SUV. Um, they are use they have switched from their their previous uh, 8S system used uh, an Amberella CV2 chip. Um, they're now using a dual Orin system. Uh, so that they'll have the ability to do more, ha- add more capability to those vehicles, like hands-free driving. Uh, also, um, Volvo started production this past week of the EX90 in Charleston, South Carolina, which is their new three-row electric SUV. Uh, it also has a dual Orin system for its ADAS. Uh, next year, Mercedes-Benz is going to have um, there uh, some new vehicles that use uh, Orin systems. So there's there's actually quite a few out there. And this is not even the the top of the top of the line for NVIDIA. Um, Starting at the end of this year or late or early 2025, um, the first vehicles uh, from Zeker will be using uh, the NVIDIA Thor chip, which is their next generation uh, chip for driver assist and automated driving. Thor does 2000 tops from a single chip. Oh, my God. Now, does this mean it's better at full self-driving? (laughs) <laughs> right, just because well, it's got more processing. It's faster, but is it better? Well, it, 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 it all depends on the software you're running, you know, and the sensors. Yeah, you're there's running. a lot of other things involved, it, and the training. It, 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 it certainly has the potential to be better. Right. Uh, you know, there's no guarantee. I mean, if you if you have software that doesn't do the job, if you, you know, then it. And if you don't do th- things like I talked about, having redundant algorithms as well as you know all the redu- you need redundant hardware to do automated driving, but you also need redundant algorithms. So you're you're running, um, you might be running an end-to-end uh, neural network system uh, in parallel with a more deterministic, traditional rules-based algorithm. Why would a Zeker have such a giant top? This is the Zeker, by the way, which is, I think, a brand a lot of people are unfamiliar with. Yeah, I've never yeah, heard it's of not, it's not so it's not sold here. Um, it's it's a Chinese brand. It's part of Geely Group. Uh, Geely also happens to own Volvo and Volvo, Polestar yeah. and Lincoln Co. and some, and quite a few other brands. Zeker Z E E K R. This is yeah. my my little brother's name is Ezekiel, and we used to call him Zeker. That was his nickname. No. Oh, really? That's the only reason well, I know of Zeker. <laughs> so, is this a really expensive uh, vehicle? Uh. The it's it's kind of a mid range premium, roughly equivalent to like a Lexus. Okay. Uh, so, so it's, it's a, a more, luxury. It's a more vehicle. premium brand. Yeah, yeah, but it's not a it's not a Bentley, and you can currently no, no. only buy it in Sweden, Germany, and the Netherlands. Uh, in in Europe, yes, uh, you can also buy it in China, in China, well. uh, and and some other countries in Asia. Okay. Um, Could so I buy it and import it? No. Um, at least not until, uh, let's see, 2049. Uh, so it'd have to be 25 years old before you can import it. <laughs> I guess I won't do that. You're, 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 allo- you're allowed to import cars that don't meet U.S. safety requirements 25 years after they're built. Oh. So. Okay. Uh, so you can't so buy a new Zeker in 2049. You just have to wait. Buy a Zeker today and wait till 2049. Buy a Zeker today. Yeah. <laughs> or buy, you know, buy a used one in 2049 okay. and bring it in. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to buy any car that has uh, side mirrors. I, I'm, I'm convinced that the future is has no side mirrors. Just like wait, Elon's convinced, it, there's no lidar. Well, in, in in other countries, you can. That's already true. You can already buy cars screen? with no side mirrors. Yeah, yeah. They they have. Uh, they'll have like a little wing with a camera that hangs out. You know where the mirrors are today. Uh, and rather than a big old mirror that's, you know, I like that trying to drive through the air. Yeah. We'll just have a little camera there that is looking back and then there'll be screens, uh, inside the car, um, yeah. you, somewhere near the base of the A pillar on either side, you know, roughly where you would look for your mirrors. Uh, and it'll project that information there on those, on those that's screens. That's how I know I'm not going to want a Zeker in 25 years because it still has mirrors. <laughs> Uh, they, um, I believe they do have versions of those, or at least some without of them, mirrors. like the old one. Yeah. I think they have have yeah. without mirrors. Oh, um, okay. But I've I've driven a few cars without uh, without side mirrors like that. Uh, Lotus, uh, which is also now owned by Geely, uh, is among the companies that they, they have their new Lotus Elettra and Amaya uh, EVs uh, have no side mirrors. They uh, they have cameras on the side. So I went to the Zeker 001 site. 
-hmm. And I think there's a language gulp, gulf here because it says the luxury shooting break. <laughs> I, do that, I, that is what is that? that is a, do I that want is that? A, Europe, a, a, a shooting break is a European term for uh, a sort of wagon like vehicle. Oh, uh, oh that's a so thing. we call them station a sport, wagons. A sporty, they call yeah. them sh oh because you're going shooting. With it, uh, that's that's kind of where it came from. Yeah, like you know, hunting vehicles. Yeah, you know that that the nobles would take out. You know, on the on the uh, on the manor grounds. Darling, to, uh, bring around the, the shooting break. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 an it's a, it's an English thing. You know. It's, you oh, okay. Know. They, uh, there, so they, I was also, right. It is a language yeah. problem because you know. Yes. England and America uh, uh, are two countries that share a, a different language or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Country's divided by a common language. That's it. Thank you, Churchill. Um, great. So uh, it's interesting that they're putting so much there, computing there, there, power in these things. There, there are a couple of other minor issues why you perhaps might not want to use these chips in your iPad or you know in a in a power, laptop. Power. Um, they consume a little bit of power. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the Orin, um, each Orin consumes uh, somewhere between 150 and 200 watts. Yikes. Uh, to drive Ooh. it. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. That's, That's like a an incandescent yeah. light bulb. Yikes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, I mean, you know, this chip, keep in mind, this is an SOC that contains a bunch of arm, high end ARM cores, it contains a whole bunch of GPU cores. So the, the GPU cores in the Orin. Are the same cores, the same the same uh, GPU microarchitecture that you'll find in those uh, uh, H100 GPUs that all the AI companies uh, seem to want. Nice. Um, and then also a bunch of tensor cores and some various other AI accelerator cores. So there's there's uh, about 200 million or 200 uh, or sorry, about uh, I think it's uh, yeah 200 million. Um, transistors in there, or maybe it's two hundred billion. It's it's, gotta it's be a more huge number of million. transistors. It's got to be. Billion. It's, it's a it's a it's a big chip because an M four has like a trillion transistors in it. So, yeah, it's got to. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's a there's a lot of horsepower, and of course because it's consuming so much power, it also needs to be liquid cooled. Ooh. So unless you want a liquid cooled iPad. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Do they really need all this horsepower to drive? It depends on what you want. Like I said, it depends on what you want to do with it. Um, if you want to try to make something that is actually remotely close to self-driving, yes. Um, it, you know, if you, you know, if you just want to do, you know, ABS and cruise control, no, you don't need that. No. <laughs> and I'm going to correct myself. The M4 iPad has 28 billion transistors, okay, thank not you. a trillion. Yeah, then, it, then it, then it, then it, then it was like somewhere in the in order the billions. of uh, yeah. two, 200, 200 billion transistors wow. on the Orin. Ten times and, the size of the iPad, and and, wow. and even more on Thor, which is the new one that's coming out. That's that one's two thousand tops. That's amazing. Hey, if you like what you just saw, all you gotta do is head to twit.tv/atg to subscribe. Then smash the bell, hit the button, and I don't know, do that stuff the YouTubers do. <laughs> <laughs>